Hello, this is the Trades at U.S. Stocks, Futures, and Forex Market Preview for Tuesday, the 2nd of February, 2021. We had a good trading day on Monday. It wasn't super exciting. We did some uh, stuff, but it wasn't the most amazing day. It was kind of flat early and then whatever. After a gap up, it is what it is. Here's a look at the ES Front Month Futures Contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. First of all, I will say that Forex was pretty flat. So there's not much new to say about the dollar index, but at any rate, um, here's the ES front month futures contract. So, you know, we went up a little bit for selling off last week, trying to recover back towards the highs. We'll see if that happens. Let's go through the major daily charts. We've got crude oil up 54 cents to 54.09. Note that that puts us up against the risk line of the 13 sell signal. We've got gold down $6.90. S&P cash gains 59 dot. 62 nasdaq 100 up 323 points by the close still doesn't recover us so remember we're, we had that 13 sell signal last week we ran into the pink risk line of that and that was the high almost exactly so we've been off since then so that's still in play until we get down to that red line or get a new nine bar startup phase the other way so just keep that in mind that's going to be weighing on things i think overall the socks up uh, back up 112 points the biotechs up 50 basically 59 points None of these are new highs. Obviously, the Russell 2000, though, up 52.52. That's pretty good for the Russell. The VIX retreats 2.85, back down to 30.24. The trend closes at 0.81, puts the 10-day moving average at 1.04. NASDAQ volume was 7 billion shares, which is still strong, but not as crazy as what we saw for a couple days with all the other stuff that's been going on. The advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ was plus 20, uh, 1995. Which is one of the strongest advanced decline ratios we've seen all year. Advanced decline ratio of the New York plus 1786. Google gains $65.71, almost a new closing high there. Apple up $2.18. No one really cares. Netflix up $6.65 after making those new highs. It's pulled back a bit. Amazon up 136 point whatever. Look at that. Looks like a breakout. Tesla up 46.28. Trying to get back towards the highs. Facebook up $3.68. Zoom gains $9.86, and that's really nowhere on Zoom. Goldman Sachs up $3.56, um, and that's obviously had a pullback. TLT, 20-year bond ETF, 152, that's up $0.18, cents, just barely off the lows. Dow was up 229 points. Bitcoin sitting at 34,190. Put call ratio closes at 0 0.532 again. Here's a look at, let's go to 5-minute candles on Yes, so here's what we did today. This is this is not exciting. Okay. We gapped up. We were flat for we dead flat for 20 minutes. We tried to pull back, right? Couldn't. Then kind of bounced back a little bit, and then dead flat, and then drifted higher. Just heading into lunch, got a 13 sell signal ahead of or in the middle of the lunch hour. But I mean, look at this. Basically, from lunchtime start until the end of the day, it's you're in a 10 point range or whatever on the ES, which is virtually not tradable and look at this look at the nasdaq i mean once you got to lunchtime everything after this was just dead flat waste of time not worth dealing with so it is what it is from that perspective uh, in terms of economic data coming out on tuesday here in the u.s we've got the uh, tip IB, ibd economic optimism number at some point awards vehicle sales at some point <clears throat> and that's it not much else for the rest of the uh, day uh, we do have some other bigger numbers coming out later in the week, especially on Friday, but we'll see what we get. So that's it. Uh, not much to say. Really boring. Uh, futures are currently showing a gap up in the morning. We'll see if that's what we get. Charts as usual. Brought to you by East. Uh, charts as usual. Brought to you by East Signal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading Tuesday.